Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to Sarah's Book Emporium. I'm Sarah. If that wasn't obvious, I guess. Um, so for this video, I am going to do what I've read so far in 2020. Um, I've read a total of 43 books out of 50. That was my uh, Goodreads goal uh, for this year. So I've done pretty good, better than I have in the past years. But I wanted to, you know, show all the books I've gone or uh, read so far. Um, some of them I don't have physical copies of because I read the audio or I did the audiobook for on uh, Scribd, the app. Uh, so in that case, I probably either I'll try to put a picture up or I'll just show you my phone. Either way, but I got all the first. If I read the entire series, I got like the first book down or something like that. So. It'd be a little easier than showing you 43 books. Um, so first, what I read this year is the Court of Rins R Thorns and Roses series, and that includes A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and A Court of Wings and Ruin. These are my favoriteest books ever. And I know favoriteest isn't a word, but I love these books with my entire being I reread them like every year no matter what it seems to just be a, a thing with me is Sarah J Mass. just Sarah J Mass. she's my favorite um so A Court of Thorns and Roses is a loosely like Beauty and the Beast retelling and it's really interesting and so it's about um this girl named Feyre she's human and there's a a like a wall in between the mortal realm and the fairy realm and so um she is a hunter so she hunts for her family she's the youngest of three and she's the one who takes care of her sisters and her dad who's uh, uh injured um so she learns to hunt and she goes out one day and she kills a wolf um what she didn't realize then is that that wolf was actually a fairy and so it like goes on like the entire story she ends up living in the uh, fairy realm as like penance for her crime basically so that's that book you should definitely go read it it's one of my, it's one that I always recommend no matter what so the next book series that I read was the Throne of Glass series, another by Sarah J. Mass. I, as you can't already tell, I love any and all Sarah J. Mass books. I have not read Crescent City yet. I just had a book hangover and I couldn't exactly get into it, so I'm gonna definitely retry it. It's, I think it's in a more adult read, but yeah. But I love Sarah J. Mass, and so the Throne of Glass series is The Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Queen of Shadows, Air of Fire, Empire of Storms, Kingdom of Ash, and then there's uh, Tower of Dawn also. So the Throne of Glass follows uh, an assassin named Selena, 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 I think, and her journey uh, being Ardalan's assassin and going through a tournament to become the king's champion and everything, and it just snowballs into this wonderful, wonderful story. And so definitely another one that I 10 out of 10 recommend. So the next books that I read was the City of Bones, uh, or the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, another one of my favorites. Um, I had just decided to reread them because I always loved them and I hadn't read them in like a year and a half-ish. So the City of Bones, or the Mortal Instruments series has the city of bones a city of ashes city of glass city of fallen angels city of lost souls and city of heavenly fire so this follows a it's like during our time but with a like a fantasy element so th there's these human there's these special humans with like Hours, I guess that you could say they're called shadow hunters and they um, work to rid the world of demons 
and there's also things like uh it's called the down world it's like werewolves vampires uh warlocks and fairies and it's really interesting and another 10 out of 10 recommend book <laughs> i have a lot of those i've noticed um the next books that i read was the Lux series by jennifer l armentrout i'm a big fan of jennifer l armentrout's books i just love them and so the Lux series um I have the ones like this with like the two books in one. So uh, this is the beginnings uh, with Obsidian and Onyx. And then I also have Consequences with Opal and Origin. And then Opposition with, or, and that's just Opposition. So this follows a alien uh, race and they're um, trying to fit in with the humans and they can't tell which ones are humans and which ones are the luxes because they take the form of humans so you can't really tell unless they show themselves and so it just follows a young girl named katie and her journey to find out what they are and you know there's some romance in there so it's a, it's a sci-fi book it's probably one of the only sci-fi books i own. I'm not a big fan of sci-fi, but I'm wanting to get in more into it. Um, so next would be um, Red Queen, the Red Queen series. Um, I'll show you the picture of it. If I have it pulled up. So it's Red Queen right here. I know it's backwards, but it's Red Queen by Victoria a Aveyard. I, I'm hoping, hopefully they're good for Christmas. If not, I'm just going to buy them myself because I love these books. But I cannot express how much I love Red Queen, okay? I had read, I had already read Red Queen in uh, the second book in this series, Glass Sword, before I reread them to read King's Cage and War Storm. But let me tell you, oh, let me tell you, I was an emotional wreck a lot of the time during these books. Granted, I cry a lot during books just because I fall in love with the characters and everything, but it was like amazing. I love her writing. It's just one of my favorites. So good. And so the next on my list that I read this year is, or listened to I guess, is the Hunger Games series. So I read Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay this year. Um, and if you don't know what it's about, where have you been the last few years? <laughs> I hope you're not hiding under a rock. But, oh, sorry, I just hit my thing. <laughs> um, but The Hunger Games is, uh, follows a girl named Katniss from District 12. It's like an aftermath of a, of like the U.S. and the world. So it's like based in the U.S. and, um, it follows this girl named Katniss from District 12 in her journey to become a tribute of The Hunger Games. And it just, it's awesome. It's a staple. In my reread, I was like, how can I re have a reread year but not read The Hunger Games? I'm hoping to get into di Divergent before the year ends, but who knows, maybe I'll continue the rereading session into next year. Because I need it, I need the nostalgia of rereading some book, some of my favorite books, I guess. Um, so the next ones that I read was the Hush Hush series. I had not picked these books up since like 2015, 2016. I can't remember. And it wasn't until I think the second one, Crescendo, that I realized why I loved it so much during that time. It's not a book that I would like just pick up and read now if I've never read it before. Because I think, I feel like I've grown as a reader and everything. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I would. Maybe I would. It, I think I gave it like three out of five stars on Goodreads. I'm not sure. But, um, I love it. I just don't know if I'll reread it again for a while. Because I have other books I want to reread that are my absolute favorites. But I do really like Becca Fitzpatrick's, like, works. Um, another one, ah, uh, yes, 
the next books that I reread were the Percy Jackson series, or the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, I should say. So that has The Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, and Blood of Olympus. So, yeah, it follows a young boy named Percy who finds out he's a demigod, and he finds out who his dad is and everything, and he finds out that he's really awesome, I guess, and that he's half god, and he goes on quests and adventures with his two best friends, and then it just gets more and more exciting as the series goes on. And it's a middle grade book, so obviously if you're older like me, like I'm 20 and I reread this, and it took me a day to get through each of these. So um, it's a little, the writing style is made for younger eyes, I guess, but it was still good. So the next books that I read was the Heroes of Olympus series, which again, Percy Jackson, I love Percy Jackson. So this has the lost hero, the son of Neptune, uh, the Mark of Athena, uh, doo -doo -doo. and then the House of Hades, and then the Blood. Oh, I messed up. It's the last Olympian is the last book in the Percy Jackson series, and Blood of Olympus is the last book in Heroes of Olymp or Heroes of Olympus series. Brain doesn't work sometimes, but this series just is basically follows the ending of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series and it just gives it a little more and it introduces the Roman demigods and everything so yeah uh, next and the last book series I've read so far is I uh, just finished Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone I, I'm reading the Chamber of Secrets right now so hopefully I'll finish that before finish that and maybe another like the Prisoner of Azkaban maybe some more uh audiobooks before the end of the year but this is the last book so far I've read and this is the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone so uh Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone the Harry Potter series follows this boy named Harry Potter throughout his uh about 11 to 17 and then the 19 years later but it follows his story of even uh, technically since birth, because um, I don't know how to summarize this just one book without summarizing this entire series, but um, Harry didn't grow up knowing that he was a wizard. He was, He's a half-blood, so that means his dad was a pure-blood wizard, and his mom was a muggle-born witch. So he's half-blood, so he has... Uh, yeah, that. Who cares about blood, though? Because it's the blood. Uh, <laughs> but it follows his life through school, going to Hogwarts, learning spells, and having adventures, and he has his life in danger, like, every single year. And it's, yeah. So, well, that's all the books slash book series I've read so far. Um... I will try to leave some links if you want to go buy them yourself, you know. I'll probably, I'll try to, who knows, if I can look up that many books before I need to post this, who knows. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more content, and if you already, you know, if you want to, you can click the little bell, that way you can be notified anytime that I, you know, upload videos. So far it's been a sporadic process because I was in quarantine away from all my lovely books and I was very upset, but I hope you like it, like, subscribe and everything, and I'll see you the next time I post. Alright, bye.